Yo, what's going on everyone? Bailey Arnold here and welcome to my new YouTube channel. So, I've gone ahead and I've decided to make uh, a scooter channel and all that. So, I'm almost at 1k on my original channel. So, I'm a beginner scooter rider at the moment. I used to be an average rider. Um, I rode for about a year and then didn't ride for like 8 months. But I've went ahead and I brought a, a new scooter and I'm starting to ride again, guys. So right now I'm just going to go pick my scooter up from the post office because it got delivered today, but um, but it never freaking um, no one answered the door, so they said just come pick it up after three on a little car that slipped me. So um, yeah, we're going to go pick that up right now. I'm just in the car driving. Just going to go in there and grab it. So when we pull up at the post office, guys, I'll I'm going to end the clip and I'll I'll pick it up I'll pick it up, guys, when I've got the package in the car. So I'm actually honestly really hoping that this is my package because um what do you call it um I don't know if my if anyone in my house has ordered a package or anything but um the scooter said on my date it was said like 14th to the 16th and today's the 15th so it's like in the middle so I guess um you know it might it could be it possibly so. As you guys know, the quarantine is, is in, so I hope you guys are staying home, hope you guys are staying safe, and all that. And I wanted to I wanted to find out and see if going to the skate park would be allowed. So after I do this, guys, the video is going to be an unboxing video. So you guys are going to see me unbox and review the new Root Industries Invictus scooter. New in, new edition, like new camo like on it and everything like that, so I'm just going to go to the post office, show my ID, and get it in. I would take the video in there, but you're not allowed to record in a post office, it's like because it's government property and all that shit, you can get in trouble for it. Just chilling at random about, going up, someone coming through. Sorry if the lighting and the sun, you can see blur and shit guys, and it's a bit off. It's just all the sun's out, it's nice and bright. Post office is just up here, guys. So I've got a. I'm honestly just gonna park right here, guys. It's gonna go across the road and get my scooter. Camera fell over, guys. So put that in. So right now I'm just recording off my phone at the moment, guys. So I'm about to go up to the post office. I got my little, got my little slip thing here in my pocket. It's ready. I'm gonna go in. and I'm gonna get my scooter. And I'll see you guys after that. So yeah, see you in a sec. So guys, we're back. We got my scooter. Sorry I didn't pick it up from the car, guys. Um, there was cops around, so I didn't want to risk it. Uh, but yeah. So the scooter heart symbol, we got the scooter now. Put it up that way so you can actually see guys and it's like got their Instagram and all that shit. I'm pretty sure it actually goes the other way. I'm not really sure. But it's a pretty big freaking package and honestly, I am not entirely sure if it's the only thing in there. I'm pretty sure, like, because if you scratch it down, I'm sure you have the only thing in there. But let's get to, um, let's get to, you know, like, unboxing it. Okay, so we got the knife. Let's just, uh, start opening up these things. Let's see what size
I'm not entirely sure what these parts are, but I'm pretty sure they're aluminium. Or not, not aluminium, what are they called? Um, I'm not really sure, guys, but these are the bars. It's got some pretty good, um, pretty good handle grips. They've got the color, they've got the blue and the purple with them, which I thought was a pretty good design. This thing's like full on like blue, purple, and black. Uh, it was a pretty good design, I reckon. I'll take them out of this and I'll show you guys what they look like. Because at the moment, you guys are going to see a bit of color on the bars, the grips, and stuff. So, and sorry, guys, if this is like, oh, there's no real information. Um, but I will let you guys know in my next video how they go and what they're like. Some of you guys watching now might actually know what bars these are. See, I used to know a lot, but I'm not really, don't really know too much about it now. But these are the new Invictus handlebars through Industries. They're actually, they're really nice. They've got the, they've got the nice stripe down here, which I think was a nice addition. It's like, um, cause I used to own an MP, was it? an MB7, like a, a, a S7 or some shit, or, I don't know, like it was just the one before the new one that came out, and they were pretty good, pretty much had very similar, very similar wire bars, um, with this part right here, with the connectors and shit, like, very similar, but yeah, as you can see, you've got the Root Industries Invictus logo up here, we've got some nice rips, fairly, there's some good weight, there's a good even weight to these bars, I reckon. They're very, very nicely put out there, nice and grip, and they're just, you know, I reckon they're nice and, nice and good. They're nice and clean, they feel smooth, they look nice with the matte black they've got going there. With the aqua blue, the violet purple, I reckon it looks really nice. I reckon there's a very good addition to the thing. As you can see, there's also the logo right here, and they've got a, I think it's just a, like some sort of um, in root industry stickers on the back. So those are good. I reckon these are very, really, really great bars and I actually will eventually recommend these, I reckon, because um, if these are anything like the Envy bars, I reckon they're gonna go great use. Um, I had my Envy scooter for like a year and with all the tricks I was doing, like bar whips and butters and all that shit, back when I was like an average rider, it took over a year for my scooters to even my handlebars are even be in the crack, so hopefully these go as well. So I'm gonna put them down. <laughs> I just came off from there, so there's that. So I'm getting out the deck now. So this is the thing I'm most excited about because this has got a very, like a nice and wide deck. That I was, because when I was looking at the photos and I was watching some videos on what, what's going to be, I'm pretty sure it's like a 19 by 19 by 3 or 19 by 2 um, inch, 19 by 19 by 2 or 19 by 3 inch long, and I think it was like something like like four, like three by four or three by five wide, and I reckon it's a very good ratio. It'd be good for. It hundred percent be good for rails and like your your feebles and your all that shit. Fifty fifties and stuff. I reckon it'd be really good for all that. So this is the deck, guys. It looks amazing right now. We've got thirty. We got thirty millimeter wide wheels, which are really good. Spin nice. They look great, guys. As you can see, they've got the got like the little. Radiant, they've like radiant wheels, nice little radiant wheels. Root Industries radiant, air radiant. They look very nice, guys. Like, and as you can see, the patterns on the bottom of it and everything. You've got the. I will take this sticker off because that thing ain't gonna stay there. It's got their phone numbers and shit on it. I think in product here. I'll take these off, but no. I reckon this was a great design. I picked it out. It's nice and like you can actually tell in the detail of the work that some guy has literally just gone through for this design and just thrown flick paint over it. it made it look really good because you can see how it's still got some bubbles coming up in the paint job that you could literally pick off right now um, sorry sorry if i'm like picking on my dad's just like a my dad's a spray painter and a paint richard so i sort of notice these things with him now i'm just so used to him <laughs> giving me shit for my paint jobs but no it's a very good deck um like i said it's it's like a 19, 19, 19 inch by 5 
uh, wide and long there. It looks very nice. It's got the nice thick going up on here and everything. Nice forks, very nice forks. They're gonna be hard to break. I'm pretty sure they're like one piece. But they're not like a two piece, like any of the shit ones. Just a one piece and everything. You got the nice looking brake with the R on it. Very, very, very good grip tape. So I've seen, so this one's just a straight black, but that was the design. I could have got like one, had Root Industries in there and that part was like cut out and stuff, but I went for the full black because this is just what I reckon is good. So if we go in here now. Yeah, I've got my Allen key in here, so we're starting to put this thing together. So it's good that all the wheels and everything are on there. And I'm pretty sure with this scooter, um, with, with when you're undoing it, when you're doing up your wheels and tightening everything, I'm pretty sure it's just a one-way nut. Yeah, it's just it's just one big lug nut, so it should just, just like you won't have to hold anything to this end. It'll just tighten like that, which I think is good. So I've been waiting for this for about two weeks now, guys. Um, it's pretty crazy, actually. So when when I got to the post office, they um. They actually told me that it wasn't my scooter that came. So I actually had to pick this video up. This is like seven days later, like a full week later since I did the recording at the start in my car, guys. So it was crazy long. You know, I had to wait for a turn to It was something for, my, something for my dad. It was like a, I think it was a, uh, like some sort of, it was like a starter motor for like um, a quad. So let's get the bars now. These things should honestly just slide straight on. That's what she said. <laughs> Pretty sure. Uh, I'm gonna have to loosen these things first, I think. Yeah, let's grab the Allen key. Let's get the looseness going. I'm actually really excited to ride this. I might do a little, might just, because as then I have to relearn all my tricks I've rode in over a year. It's, like, I will have the basic knowledge on how to do them. It's just landing them and learning to catch and all that again that I'm gonna have to do. Because I'm sitting there like, you know, like I'm sitting there to stand on flat without a scooter or anything, trying to figure out in my head how the hell I'm gonna, how the hell I'm gonna catch, like these things and all this, and it's honestly it's absolutely hilarious, guys. But I reckon, I reckon it's gonna be fine. Learn to do all this again. So let's put this in the ground, guys, just so I can line this up. Bars definitely need to. So let's get this lined up. So, guys, I'm gonna call my brother in here to help me line these bars up. Like, I don't need help lining them up, just so you can hold the, just so you can hold the fork and stuff down here, so that way it doesn't turn everything. See you guys. So, guys, I'm back. Got someone to help me straighten them. So this is a scooter full together right now. I reckon it's gonna go pretty good. Probably got some dirt on the wheels, so I'm just moving around in my, just in my floor. So grab this box and this out of the way. So you guys can see this a little bit more. So the shitty thing is it didn't come with like a stand to put my scooter on, which I honestly thought it would have. It's like when I got my Envy, when I got my Envy, it came with like an actual a stand for my scooter, but it didn't this time. But it's all good. So guys, I'm gonna bring you back up here to like a little bit more level. So we got the new scooter. I'm feeling pretty happy about it. So we're gonna, so this is the sound. Sounds pretty good. Sounds nice. So we, we've got like a new foot path out there. So what I'm gonna do, so now I take it out there guys, I'm gonna give it a little, just a little whip. Just to see how, just to see how she's gonna go. Let's so hope the shoe is pretty well. I can't exactly do anything in here because I'm in a small space, like any whip or anything they're trying to do, just any spin is gonna smack something. So I'll take it out there guys and see you out there. Hey guys, sorry I didn't record the last little bit of me doing a whip. Uh, I don't have the right, I don't have a camera person with the right view to do it, so I won't be able to show that to you guys, but I hope you guys did enjoy the unboxing video and the little vlog at the start. 
If you guys did, don't forget to smash that like button, turn on post notifications as always, give it a good, nice subscribe, and I hope you guys did have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.